Hello everyone and welcome back to Yankee Dabbler. My name is DJ. I'm sorry we had a little bit of a delay. We were actually at the Oscars. We just got back. Ran to Will Smith. That was a uh, interesting experience. But hey, you know what? We're back. We're talking about brand new trains that we have here to show you. So without any further hesitation, let's get started. We're going to take a look at some 53 foot containers that hopefully will find their way on their well cars on your layout. So check out these bad boys from Athens. And I have a couple of different variations. Actually, I have a whole bunch of them. So this is the Canadian National. Great look there. We got the Ferramax. Well, we've taken a look at a bunch of Ferramax engines over the years. Uh, we got the Swift Intermodal. We got the UPS. And I know a lot of people have UPS uh, things on their layout. So that is a great one. We got the Estes. We have the Florida East Coast. We got a really nice looking one here. We got the Pacer Stack Train. We got the CP, Canadian Pacific, and finally we got the Werner, and that is a awesome looking car. I like all the detailing on these uh, container cars. Now, if you take a look at all these container cars, they have an incredible amount of detailing that you expect from Athens. If we take a look at one of these, look at the Canadian National, as you can see, the side of these have a great amount of detail on here. So if you want to get some container cars to go on your layout, put them on your trains, maybe you have a container yard that you would need to get filled up, these are really good ways to go. Now, these cars are selling here at Yankee Dabbler for $35.99. I guess they're not cars, they're containers, rather. They're selling for $35.99. That is a great deal to get on these cars. Of course, you always a little, little engineer haul discount on there. But uh, I think these are really cool, and I have a whole bunch of them. So if you want to mix them up, just like the real railroad, get a whole bunch of different uh, ones on your trains, look at it. I think it's got to look great. So come to Yankee Dabbler and get these before they're all gone. So we got some cars that we're going to be taking a look at, and these are really cool cars, because they're refrigerator cars. <whistles> Ken didn't like your joke. Sorry. Anyway, we got these 57-foot mechanical reefer cars here from Walters, and I think you're really going to like them. Check out these cars here. We have a couple of different road names here. We got the Burlington Northern. We got this one. I really like this one, the, the uh, Northern Pacific that we have here. I love the silver color. I think that's a really great looking one. And then two classics. We got the uh, Union Pacific, Pacific Fruit Express cars. I got the white version and I got the orange version. And then, of course, I just have a regular traditional Union Pacific refrigerator car. Now, these cars are really built solid. As a matter of fact, I'm going to pick up one of these here. And these have a little bit of weight to them, which is always good to have on your trains here. They do have die-cast metal wheels and die-cast metal couplers. I love the, the look of these cars here. They are just really nicely put together here. Not a tremendous amount of detail, but if you're looking for a very nice economic car to put on your layout, and I have a whole bunch of different row numbers to this too, so if you want to get... A whole bunch of Burlington Northerns and with different numbers. I got that set. Same with the other cars here. These cars retail for $34.98. We're selling them here at Yankee Dabbler for $27.99. So awesome deal to get on these cars. Again, if you want to come up with a nice long unit train of uh, mechanical reefer cars, I think this is a really good way to go. I think it's got to look awesome, especially get the uh, Pacific Fruit Express, get a little Union Pacific power behind that. There's nothing better than that. So come into Yankee Dabbler and get these cars because I know you really got to like them. We got Easter time coming up, and I'm sure you're probably thinking about some things to put in those Easter eggs for your husband to find. So here we are. We got a whole bunch of different micro chains to put in those Easter eggs, so to speak. And I got a bunch of different packs here, and I'm not going to take them all out of the box because there's a lot of effort. However, I am going to show you what some of these are. And the first one I have here is the Pennsylvania Express Mail Train. And this is a really cool looking set here. As you can see, I have a whole bunch of different passenger cars, observation cars, I'm sorry, baggage cars. I have a couple of different cars for you to choose from here that creates a express mail train here. Got the REA box car there. Got an RPO car here. Baggage car. I mean, this is just a really neat looking set, and especially if you're a Pennsylvania Railroad fan. And I know there's a lot of you out there. I think this is a really neat way to go here. So I really like this set. Pennsylvania express mail train from micro trains. I really like that. Now over here we have the Fruit Growers Express 8 car pack. And if you take a look over here, you see I have 8 different cars of these uh, reefer cars here. And these are really cool. Then I have here the same exact thing. However, this is the weathered version here. So let's take a look at a little bit of a difference here. So here is the non-weathered version as opposed to the weathered version. And you can definitely see the difference there. So these are obviously brand new out of the factory. And these have been on the road 
for some time. So these are really cool. So for the non-weathered fan and the weathered fan, we got you covered there. We got these Burlington Northern 48 foot well cars and these are really cool looking. I love that color uh, scheme with the blue and the red. I'm a Phillies fan, so those kind of look like Phillies colors. So go Phillies. Over here we have the Archer Daniels Midland tank cars. I got a three pack of these cars and those look really great. I mean, the fact that we have these this amount of detailing in end scale is just truly tremendous. Uh, 10 years ago, we weren't having anything close to these. And now all of a sudden we got a whole bunch of great things. And that is a neat looking pack there. I have a Conrail three car runner pack here and I got a couple of different versions here. Some Conrail quality cars here. Those look awesome. And then we have two Union Pacific packs that we have here. I have a Union Pacific four car runner pack. And I really like these, especially the loads there. This look great. You got some different colors on the loads as well. So you got different types of materials. And then finally I have here this Concrete Tie Loader five pack. And I think we looked at this previously, but I, I just wanted to look at it again because there's just so much that goes into it. If you take a look at the packaging up here, as you can see, I have the various machinery that you would use to put concrete ties on the rails. And uh, I mean, if you want to simulate something like that on your railroad, I guarantee that's something new that you don't have. So get one of those. I also have some individual cars here that I want to just take a look at here. For example, I have a Seaboard Coastline weathered box car here. And that is a great look here. Let's do it up here so we don't get the glare of the light. That is a great looking car there. Again, for our weathered fans there, I think that's a really neat car to go with. I have here a SCL X, what does it say? XACL car. That is a really cool car as well. Again, if you are a weathered fan, you want to get some weathered uh, cars on your railroad, I really like those. Now, for some non-weather fans, I got a couple of tank cars here that we got here. Brand new tank cars here. I always like me some tank cars here. Those are really neat cars. And then, you always have to have that caboose at the end of the train, right? And I got a Canadian Pacific old-style caboose here, and I really like that. I, I'm a big caboose fan. I have a ton of cabooses on my railroad, and I think uh, that's a really great looking one there. Then our last car that we have here in the micro train series that we have here is this ITTX 89 foot flat car with flat deck. And once again, I have a nice weathered car here. And if you take a look at the deck as well, you see some really nice detailing there. So if you're looking for a really weathered modern car that you could put on your rails, there is really nothing better than this. And I actually have this set that actually comes with a second one. So I have a second car that goes with this as well so that is a two pack now i'm not going to bore you with a whole bunch of prices because we'll be here for way too long but what i'm going to say is that every single one of these sets or the individual cars is available on our website yankeedabbler.com so if you saw something here that you think might interest you go on yankeedabbler.com type that in and you'll get the price and everything is at least 20 percent off of what the original retail price was so we're we're doing the best we can to get this savings to you and i think you're really going to enjoy these cars so don't waste any time get these on your railroad and more importantly give me those easter eggs because that's going to be a fun easter egg hunt nothing better than hunting for trains now we're going to take a look at some diesels from broadway limited and check out these emd f3 we got an a and b set and these are really great looking engines there's nothing i can really say bad about these things here i got the santa fe a and a non-powered b and they're all powered a's non-powered b's i got the erie lackawanna and that is one of my favorite paint schemes as a matter of fact i think these are all great paint schemes so i i gotta sound really repetitious but i really like them all that's the B&O. I really like this one too. But you got a really great looking uh, design there. The Sentinel paint scheme there. And of course you have the B unit there. <clears throat> then for our East Coasters, I got here the Jersey Central. And that is a awesome look there with the olive green. You got the yellow stripe in there. You got the Statue of Liberty look on there. And then of course the Pennsylvania Railroad. And as you notice, every single one of these engines has a slight modification or difference based on what the road name was. For example, Pennsylvania, you said these antennas up here. 
So that's a great little difference that uh, Broadway Limited did on these engines. Now these engines come complete with Paragon Force. You're getting the latest and greatest type of sound system, uh, DCC, everything you, you would want in your diesel locomotives. And the F3 is probably the most prominent diesel that's ever been uh, designed. You can get even non-trained vans and they would recognize what an F3 looks like. So these are really great. We got five great paint schemes to choose from. And without any further hesitation, we're gonna run them because I just like to play with trains all aboard. We're going to make all our friends from New Jersey really happy and we're going to be pulling the Jersey Central diesel locomotive. So let's get this started, shall we? First of all, let's take a listen to the sound system. All right, here is the horn. And what's really neat about this engine, if you take a look at the front of it, you're going to notice that the not only does the headlight light up, but the cat lights up, as well as the marker lights, and even the number boards are in the way too. So that is really cool. So, there we go. Truck number one, train number 51, Yankee Gabriel, Food Express. That is a really cool looking diesel locomotive. And if you're interested in getting either the Jersey Central or any of the other ones that we have, you can find it on our website, yankeedowboy.com. They retail for $399.99, but we're selling them here at Yankee Dabbler for $319.99. So awesome deal to get on that engine. It's a really nice, well-designed diesel locomotive. I love the detailing, especially with all the different parts, the air hoses, everything about it is just awesome. And you know you're getting a really high quality product for Broadway Limited. So get these engines before they are no longer here because you're gonna be upset and you missed out on them. All right, so you know me, we took a look at a whole bunch of diesel locomotives, but I want my steam and I got a really good one to take a look at here. Coming around the band on end scale track, so all aboard. So, of course, this is the Blue Comet, the Broadway limited end scale version to be specific. And this is perhaps the most gorgeous train that's ever been designed. It might be the best looking model I've ever seen in one as well. So let's check this out for a closer inspection. As you can see here, I have here the number 832 Pacific locomotive. That was a key 
member of the Jersey Central Blue Comet Fleet, believe it or not, they actually only had three of these locomotives that ran on the Blue Comet, but this is one of them here, and it looks terrific. I love the look of this engine here with the blue paint scheme with the gold accents. It doesn't get much better than that. Then Broadway Limited came out with not one, not two, not three, four, five, but six passenger cars to go along with the Broadway Limited. We got two two-packs and two individual cars here. And as you can see that every single one of them has a lighted interior here. And of course, every single one of these cars here has the name of an individual Comet, just like the real train had. For example, here I have here the Holmes. I have here the Westfall. I have here the Spitaler. I have the Borson, the DRS, and the Fay, and many of these cars actually still survive today. I know all three observation cars actually still survive today, and they are just, it's just a great looking set. And again, if you're looking for a Blue Comet set, I know there's a lot of people out there that are factuated about the Blue Comet. There's a lot of great history that goes along with this train, but there really hasn't been a really good prototypical model in N scale until now and i think you're really going to enjoy this set now the set here retails for 719 dollars and 95 cents you might be thinking like that's ridiculous as an end scale set well that's retail we're selling it here for 575.95 it's an awesome deal to have on this uh this engine i mean the engine here has uh, pr uh paragraph four has Everything that you would want sounds, the cars all light up. I mean, that's a great deal to get on that train. That would be a great deal for any, uh, any gauge, but especially get it for N scale. That's an awesome deal. Of course, you can always throw that engineer hall discount. But if you're looking to just get the engine, maybe you're thinking, no, that's a little bit too much money, but I do want the engine. Well, I actually had the engine available for separate sale as well. And we're selling the engine, which retails for $369.99. We're selling it for $295.96. So, couple of different options here. The Blue Comet is one of my all-time favorite trains. It's a very legendary train, I think, probably because there's no actual color photographs of those engines uh, when they were painted in the Blue Comet paint scheme. So, if you're a fan of railroading, the Jersey Central, or just want to get a gorgeous locomotive and train set, I think that, that you can't do any better than this, especially for our end scalers out there. Get this engine on your layout today because you're going to 100% like it. So, all aboard. Now, of course, all of these products that you saw could be found here on our website, yankeedabbler.com. So anything that you saw, whether it was the F3s, the Blue Comets, the Reefers, the Container Cars, or any of those microtrains cars can be found on our website, yankeedabbler.com. So just type it in the search engine, get it in your cart, and get on your land, and you'll be a lot happier. That's what my therapist tells me, at least. Anyhow, I want to thank you very much for watching What's New Here at Yankee Dabbler, and thank you for waiting for our latest episode here. Hopefully it was worth the wait. And just a reminder that we only have a few more weeks until the deadline for the Spring Layout Spectacular! Woohoo! Right. We have so many great layouts that we're going to show you. As a matter of fact, we actually have a layout that's in 4D. What is 4D? I don't know. We'll find out because there's going to be so many great things that are going to be popping up on this layout spectacular. So if you haven't already submitted either your video or your photographs, please send them to engineerhallchannel at gmail.com and make sure that you get your videos, your um, descriptions, whatever you want to be talked about. We're going to get those onto our, um, onto our show and we're going to take a look at some awesome layouts. I'm looking forward to doing that now. The cutoff is Easter, okay? April 17th. So make sure you get those uh, videos sent to us before, well, you have to wait for the next one. And uh, I don't know, do you think we'll do another one? Uh, maybe. Maybe, we'll see. Anyway, so if you want to guarantee to get your layout on to one of these shows, make sure you get it to us before April 17th. But who don't want to get on TV? I don't know. Who would not want to be on TV? I mean, it's the thing to do. I mean, we won that Oscar, I mean, because we do such great work. I was sure we did. Yeah, although it said Will Smith's name on it. Um, Nah, we, maybe. we might have stolen that. Anywho, you know, it was a lot of crazy things. DJ happening. did it. Uh, and, and, yeah. We're going to conclude this week's video with a rail fan video. We're going to be going back to that Reading and Northern Railroad to take a look at their steam engine number 425 going down their line. And for our rail fans out there, there might be another video that we are going to have coming up in the near future about another steam locomotive that Reading and Northern has uh, fully operational at this moment. Not going to tell you what it is, but for our rail fans out there, I think you know what we're talking about. So we'll give some of those videos 
up. We're going to have some really fun things to take a look at in the future. So thank you very much for uh, watching. Hit that subscribe button. And if you excuse me, i got to get ready for my Easter egg hunt that I'm throwing myself. i got to be so surprised. You know, you can just get a couple of trains here. You get a little of that. Oh, man. I'm going to hide them, have some whiskey, forget where I put them. It's going to be a lot of fun when I find them. So take care, everyone. Ooh, this looks good. Yeah. All right. Good stuff. Happy Easter to me.